Hi friends, welcome to this uh, video for uh, the Linux basics. And today we'll be uh, we will be discussing about the checksums. How you can check the checksums of the file you have downloaded. Uh, well, sometimes you download a file, uh, a big file from the internet, and you see that there are uh, checksums uh, written uh, with them. For example, this is the distribution of uh, DAMS uh, small Linux. And this is a release candidate candidate that I have already downloaded. It's here. You can see. Uh, and if you check the md5.txt file, it will show you the uh, the encrypted md5 value here. So this is to verify that uh, if you click this link, the the data or the package which is being downloaded is the correct one. And in case uh, there are some, you can say changes in the data which is being transmitted uh, over the network interface uh, it's not changed uh, due to some errors or due to some malicious uh, activities so this is uh, used to check the integrity and uh, to verify the package there are two ways you can do it first is the md5 and second is the SHA1 so these are the two way uh, by which you can uh, check the you can say the checksum of of uh, of a file. MD5 is uh, the short form for message direct and uh, uh, you can say the cryptographic uh, level five and the SHA1 is secure hash uh, algorithm. Uh, MD5 is 128 bits and uh, SHA1 is 160 bits. So uh, you can generate the MD5 like uh, just typing the command MD5 sum. and the file name so it will give you the md5 now if you check this uh, file here you will see that uh, you have some data uh, here I can do a grab and uh, in case it is the same one uh, the grab will show me the colored one color data here because it's matching this pattern in the in this stream of output so if suppose there are some changes here it won't give me any data the other uh, way is the shaven which is not provided here so I'm just generating the output here so these are the two way to generate the, the sum of uh, the files which you can verify uh, whenever you are transferring the file over the uh, over the network. It is a secured way. Uh, both of these uh, hash functions are not secure anymore, but still, uh, it will give you an, uh, a bit sort of uh, you can say integrity uh, while you are transferring the uh, this packages over the network. Uh, I hope the video is clear. In case you have question or feedback, you can just drop them in the comment box. Thanks for watching this. Have a great day.